Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. What's the crime? The best kind. The mysterious kind. Who are you? I'm Violetta. I can assure you there's nothing strange about me at all. Okay. I'll do it. I knew you would. Dope. Summit. Kids come here to hang out. At least they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso. Where did this come from? After party. For your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. I'll give him a chance. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. Stop! No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? Hey! When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. No, not that one. Play again. Worse than the first one. Bonanza. That's it. What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. Later.
Wait, is this Rami stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah. He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. Yeah, you could really kill yourself from up here. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. Thanks. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am. Where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else entirely. Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen. Well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole. Just like a hummingbird when she touches the sky And you've got nowhere And you don't know just why You're a child of the river coming home tonight Sweet rose of pines Come to me, my love. Goldie! You lucid? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. I hope so, too. 
You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. Ah, oh, yeah! Hey, Ta- Yo, I've never seen so many people in town! Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kinda loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? You ever heard of Lightman's? Hmm? Junk sci-fi movie. It, it's not a movie, it's a place. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. Play blues? Play f Yeah, see what I can do. I'll catch you later, Tao. Calypso is usually much quieter. It's quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. Finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. You avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say, you will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplace teeth. Well then, I suppose... We have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Cafe Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. Mmm, look who's come wandering by. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetti. Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out. You know that? Yeah, I saw the posters. Mm, there better be some skiffle in your show, Vendetti, for your sake. I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle? Like jazz with pots and pans? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music tell you that for free. Hey, old fella. I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. I love this place, but it's killing me. It's a sight, make no mistake. Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. Saw the flyers for his show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. 
Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no... Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. You're just the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. Well, aren't you gonna thank me? Sorry, I... Th well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> Actually, no, never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along, go practice. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travel. Um, uh, hello? Francis Vendetti, the pleasure's all mine. Mayor Swartz here. How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. You can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Okay. Don't cock it up. What have you come as? Zombie Vendetti. That is in poor taste. Hey, Lucy. 
<sighs> I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy, you got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Loop the Drifter. Hank Williams, really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. Not going to the after party. You don't like the Skiffle band? They're like Jimmy Page started in Skiffle. Yeah, everyone loves Jimmy for his Skiffle. Exactly. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? You want me to check out back? Nah, got it. Thanks, Lucy. My place, childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's a shrine and a tomb. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. Don't seem myself? I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says. From the beginning, until the end. No one asks me about my dad much. I step on stage. Could people believe an alien could play music? Could the radio intercept intergalactic transmissions? just 62 miles away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe in all its grandeur, its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet.
bad news knocks the Um, hello? Greetings. Good evening, little bee. A pleasant climate here, don't you think? Mild. Fragrant, almost. What? What are you wearing? I am looking for Francis Vendetti. You found him. I am the hypnogogic Zalm. I appear tonight as a herald of doom and calamity. The support act on our tour is indisposed. A replacement is needed. And the captain asked for you by name. Captain? What captain? He calls himself Lightman. Wait, Lightman? You're from Lightman's? Where is it? It's supposed to be in Calypso, but I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. Stand extremely still. What? Why? Does it adhere to your hideous, humanoid arrangement? I'm in love with it. Why are you giving this to me? Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Hold out your hand, human. How did... did I do that? Was that me? You're tuning into another dimension. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Hey, wait! What does that mean? How did you organize this? Thank you. 
on his way. Make an entrance, baby. <laughs> and don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him? I'm a friend. Uh, how, how, how did you? I heard the word. You got the aura, baby. How did you do that? I is there a crane? No oh, crane. Just wheeling my feet through salty licks. Are you Lightman? Jammer of the Glamorgon himself. Now, we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope, and I don't go on without a support act. Never, ever. This is the skinny. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. I can't just go running off into the night. The night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Man, you're gonna see Flotsam that'll change you forever. Change me forever. Let me give you the first lesson free. This is the musical key. You're all over it like a book job. Now repeat after me. my notes, but add your own timing, your own rhythm. Zom? He'll be dead by dawn. Excellent! You're hired, baby. Follow me. Wait. 
This isn't here. This isn't a thing. It, this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is going to blow your mind. Luxury packages? What is this place? Like a travel agent? The Cosmic Extraordinary? I have never heard of any of these places. Francis, one little admonition. You need to be cleared with legal, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, image rights, sync, narrative, licensing, I mean, insurance, posthumous royalties, and spectromic signature, you know, all pretty standard. You get all that? Not one bit. Voice signature accepted. Onward! Possible. is to French kiss death. That's a striking visual. Are we gonna French kiss death? Not one day, unfortunately. But you see that door? That's the end of everything you've ever known, baby. Beyond that door lies the cosmic extraordinary. What does that mean? Oh man, that's the great matter between the lobes of the universe. The outside of reality. Often described as the in-between bits. So it's themed. A themed restaurant. If you want there to be a restaurant, there will be a restaurant. Or if you want there to be flamingos, baby, there shall be flamingos. Or typhoons, or submarines, or the romantic. What does it look like? Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me, it's a golden staircase woven lightly. Now to you, who knows? There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? You're on your own, kid! Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. You're looking for the lung! The cosmic lung! What's that? 
It's home, baby! It's home! If it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust. You've got a strange sound to you. Whoa. I'm a wonder. Make no mistake. Are you God? Darling, you are divine. I am not. You know, I did see her once, from a distance. What was it like? She was playing pinball. No way. Way. All the greats are obsessed with pinball. The only reason we created the universe. What do you call yourself? Out here? I'm not sure. I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... is something I don't want to take with me. In this place, you are the namer of names. But choose wisely. Names can get carried away. What? How do you mean? They wander off. Begin, Begin to believe. Before you know it, they're on books and banners, scrawling themselves over manifestos. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? And where are you headed? The Cosmic Lawn. Really? You're touring with Lightman? Well, well if, if you say, say so. so.
Zom, what happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung, our vessel across the extraordinary. W what does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless, cacophonous debauchery? You mean like a music festival? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Why don't you have an explore, hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice, human? Okay. Don't lose your head. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs>